Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Screaming Sicilian Pizza Companies. This one is the Breakfast for One Country Breakfast Sausage and Gravy. It is breakfast sausage, whole milk, mozzarella, and sausage gravy. Hmm, mozzarella and sausage gravy. Hmm, could be interesting. It looks good. It says I'm single. Over six inch square, uh, 8.75 ounces or, eight, or 248 grams. It is frozen. We got this in the frozen section at Walmart. It was $3.98. Not too awfully bad four dollars just for a meal whatever um let's see it is 680 calories for the whole thing so if you eat the whole thing you're going to be eating 680 calories there's your other info now you can do this in the oven uh, of course there's the oven directions pizzas usually do go in the ovens so you can do the oven if you want to or of course we're going to do the microwaves because we don't do stinking ovens so the microwave direction is pretty straightforward just like any of these frozen pizzas open the cart along the perforation and fold it back to make a tray look like that Unwrap the pizza and discard the film. Place pizza on the platform. Cook for four to four and a half minutes. I'll probably just do like, I don't know. I might, I'll, I'll do 420 and we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, or until cheese is completely melted. So I'll keep an eye on it. Leave pizza in the microwave for three minutes. Uh, remove from the microwave. Place pizza on the cutting surface uh, to slice, serve, and enjoy. So, oh, here it is. It would be a pull tab. Somewhere. Pull the tab. Open it up. Let me turn you down a little bit so you can see better. Open really nicely. There's our pizza. Here's our platform. Let's fold that back to where it uh, folds back on itself. That's where we're going to stick our pizza. And I've got scissors over here. I'm just going to cut this. I know. Good picture of my, my arm in the, in the camera. Okay. Now, I usually put this um, tray on a paper plate just in case it runs over. Uh, I don't want it to run over a microwave, but that's just, that's just me. I don't like to clean up a microwave, honestly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick it on a paper plate. I uh, don't have to, but again, that's just what I like to do. Pick some of this cheese up, put it on top. Lay that right there. Take the, pizza, the cheese that's in the bag. Shake it off. Not a whole lot, though. So yeah, so I'm going to get this in the microwave for, uh, like I said, I'm going to put it in for 420, but I'm going to watch it to make sure when the cheese melts, I take it out. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. It did run. You can see it run out the side. So I'm glad I had the paper, the paper plate underneath of it. So I've got a cookie cutter here, by the way. Um, so screams to see it on it. <laughs> um, sent me that a long time ago. So let's uh, break this free. You usually have to like break it free from the, the cardboard, the little tray. Because the cheese gets crunchy. I'll get it off there, dag on it. I did let it sit for it said let it sit for three minutes. I'll let it sit for probably two, two or three minutes. One of the two. Somewhere between there. And I just left it in the full 420, by the way, the four minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, let me cut it. I'm gonna cut it into four slices. I'm curious what the crust looks like. Because sometimes it gets brown on the bottom, sometimes it doesn't. This seems pretty crunchy. Oh yeah, it browned up really nicely on the bottom. You can see that, it looks good. All right, so I'm gonna cut this and um, probably just take it over the table and try it out. It does, I don't think it's super, super hot. I mean, it feels, I mean, it's hot, but it's not like melt your face off hot. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, I just, I didn't let it sit hardly any time. So I'm gonna try this piece. It's got sausage and it says it has gravy. I guess it's gravy mixed in with the cheese. I don't, I, it's hard to tell. At the part in the middle is definitely not all cheese. It's like a, a, we would call it a sawmill gravy or a white gravy, peppered gravy. It's like a white gravy with uh, pepper in it. That's the flavor you get. That's mixed in with the cheese. Um, the sausage has a really good flavor too. It's a, it's a strong sausage flavor. Hmm. That's just a good, really good um, sausage you can buy out of the store, like a Tennessee Pride or something like that. That's a good sausage. Um, the gravy has a really good flavor to it. 
the uh, there's plenty of cheese there to hold it and get it like a um, a creamy texture. I wish I'd taken it out at like the four minute mark, only because, not because of the toppings, but the crust. The crust on the edges is really, really like hard. And that's completely my fault, not, not the pizza's fault, um, not the company's fault. It's 100% my fault because um, I was watching it, but it was like, I'm gonna let that cheese melt a little bit more, and then it went over. So I think if I'd taken it out at four, the crust would be much softer. Like I can't even squeeze that and break it, it's so hard. But um, the center part's good, and it's got a good texture to it. It's good and chewy. It's a little tough, but it's not it's not bad at all. Like I said, I think if I'd taken it out at four minutes, it would have been fine. Um, or we put it in the oven and bake it, it would be perfectly fine that way, too. Of course, we don't bake them here, but if you're eating it at home and you got an oven, go for it. I really do like the flavors of this. I really like the flavor of the sausage. It's very good, uh, strong seasoning. Um, it's not a spicy sausage, like it's gonna, not gonna burn your mouth or anything. Um, if you can handle like any spice whatsoever at all, you probably wouldn't wanna get this because it does have a little bit of a, like a black pepper kind of flavor to it. But uh, beyond that, it's, it's not spicy. It's not, no tingle in my throat, nothing like that. Uh, but I like the flavors of the sausage. I like the flavor of the gravy. I like the flavor of the crust and the texture, like I said, is a little hard for me, but it could be better um, if you do it right. And um, I like the flavor of the cheese itself. So there's nothing about this I dislike, honestly. Um, I'm gonna give this one, you know, if I microwaved it at the four and my crust is a little softer, I'd probably, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I really do like it. Um, like I said, the next time I did one of these, I would go down to four minutes. Just watch your times in your microwave or put it in the oven. I think you'd be much happier. If you're gonna put it in the oven, I would, it doesn't say put it on a tray, I don't think. I didn't read the directions for the oven really. So let me look real quick. Um, of course, it's so tiny. Directly in, on the oven rack. So what I would probably do is stick something underneath of it, whether it be a pan under it, not directly under it, but like underneath on the next shelf down, or something to catch drippings, because I think the cheese is gonna run off. It may not, but it seems like it would. So, um, I mean, it did on this plate. I can't imagine it not doing, doing it in the oven, so. I think it's really good. Good idea, good flavors, really good. So five out of five for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.